Today we're going to be trying more UK snacks. More UK snacks. This is part two of us trying our UK snacks. We're really excited about this. All right, he's Zach. And he's Zach. And together, we're Zach and Dad. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the Zach and Dads. We are the place, not the, but the place for food reviews, food challenges, and good old international incredible UK fun. So if you enjoy what you see here, which we both hope you do, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notification so you'll never miss an incredible international video that we're doing. Now, we got this. This is part two of three. Um, we got a box, um, and we get many boxes from people around the world, actually a lot from the UK, of snacks that they send us that they want us to try. And we've been very blessed, and it's been very awesome to get these gifts. And we love it. And uh, this gift came, uh, we, part one, we'll put a card up, and we hope you go back to watch uh, part one, which was about a week ago. Uh, but this came to us, and it came with a nice card uh, with Big Ben. And thank you for letting us know that it was Big Ben. Uh, Big Ben with the telephone with the telephone booth that to me reminds me of uh, the TARDIS and then there and then the great old the great flag right there. You don't go to me now. Um, yeah, you're on a napkin already. All right, all right. And this the note that we got said again. Um, if you're watching this for the first time, dear Zach and Dad, I hope these UK snacks reached you okay. Box was a little damaged, but good this stuff is good. Hope you enjoy them. Love from the UK, Carrie. And how much stuff came in there? Uh, Tons. I didn't count. Yeah, we didn't count, but it, so much food was in there. We have to divide this into three boxes. So this is part two of three. All right. What do you want to get to first, son? I'm not really sure. All right. We were on a sugar high last time, but I don't think there's as much sugar this time. I guess. I'm not really sure you can pick. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll just pick this one. All right. All right. This one is called Topic. And uh, I don't think it's a topical thing that you put on. I think it's kind of a candy bar. It says it's milk chocolate, hazelnut, soft nougat, or is that nugget? Is it nougat or nugget? That's a. How a, much cheese does it have? How much cheese? I don't G. know. G. How much what? G. G. One G. N O U G A T. Or is it nougat? It's nougat. Maybe it's nougat. Okay. And smooth caramel. Caramel. Centre. Caramel. Caramel centre. All right. Caramel. But it does look like centre, but it's center. Center. All right. So let's give this a try. Oh, wait. Caramel. You probably can't try this with your braces on. Caramel. <laughs> actually, the, the people who sent us comments last time said, actually, I was right. That it is caramel, not caramel. So I'm sorry. I think you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. So stick to your bubble wrap. Anyway, it looks like, to me, this looks like a Snickers bar that we would have here in the United States. Uh, maybe it is kind of the same thing. Um, or a Milky Way. And it kind of breaks open like this. Did you want to try some or no with your braces? No. Okay. All right. I'll give it a try. There is some white. That white stuff looks a little different than what we're used to. So. Ooh. That's good. Nice product. Okay. Did you really enjoy it? Yeah. So uh, you picked the next one. Okay. It was really good. It has a good caramel middle. We're going to be trying smooth orange. With a, like, like a orange chocolate. So let's get into it. That soft nougat is really good on this. The soft nougat is really good. Oh, and you guys, uh, Carrie, you know I love that orange and chocolate. There's nothing better than that combined thing. Let's so, actually open up all of these. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, you mean to make a big pile. Um, anyway, so this was Galaxy, Galaxy, does that say new? Okay, yeah, I guess, I guess it's new Galaxy Smooth Orange Chocolate. Woo! Let's get into it. All right, looks like this, kind of with some bubbles on it. Okay. How do we, let's see how it smells. I can't really smell the orange, it just smells like chocolate. Chip it, chip it dip it. Whoa. Mmm. You know what would make this even better? If you put uh, 
melted chocolate all over it. Oh, that and if you would dip this in peanut butter. Anything dipped in peanut butter just covers a multitude of wrongs. What, what do you think of this? It's good. I don't, I'm not getting any orange on it. You're not? I'm getting a good orange taste out of this. Again, if you're from the UK and you know me, if chocolate has orange in it, I love it. I wish the United States would have more of that. I, 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 does the United States even have any of that? I don't even know if it has any of them. But did this come, is this UK bubble wrap? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, is UK bubble wrap different than from the United States? Or is it pretty much the same? It's different. It is a little different? Okay. All right, why don't we try, um, let's see what's next here. Again, Car again, Carrie, thank you. Awesome. We love you. Thank you so much for this box. We really appreciate it. And we don't take these for granted. We are very blessed with these. All right, this one's by Cadbury. And it's called, it's called Twirl. Did you see how I did that? Twirl. Um, what Twirl is, do you know what Twirl is? I'm not exactly sure. What makes it so twirly? I'm not sure, but I guess we'll open it. I can't really see what it is, but we'll see when we open it here. It looks like kind of almost like a Twix kind of a thing here in the United States, but it, it kind of does kind of twirl. All right, here you go. Here's your half. Actually, this looks like something that we tried before. Um, all right, kind of looks a little twirly in the middle there. So let's give it a try. Chip it, Chip it, it. dip it. Mm. Are you getting anything else besides chocolate or are you just getting chocolate? I'm just getting some real good sugar high chocolate is what I'm oh, getting. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, twirl. Would you recommend it? Mm -hmm. Yes. If you're in England or if you're at a place that has twirls, I'd get it. It's pretty good. Excellent. Again, I'm only eating a little bit from each one because there's just so much stuff that we're going to go through. Again, this is number two pile of three. All right. Did you want to pick the next one? Um, you can pick it. All right. Um, should we go, or how about this? Do we want to go savory or do we want to still stay with candy? Candy. All right. Then let's try this. Wispa. Wispa. If you watched our last video, we, we did do gold. This one is Wispa Gold or Wispa. Um, it is grab hold of some gold. It's, uh, aerated, um, aerated, which probably means that they put some air in it. Uh, Cadbury milk chocolate with a layer of caramel. And again, he probably can't try this. He can't have caramel, caramel, caramel. No, I say caramel. You can't, he can't have caramel with his, uh, braces on. So I'll try it. Looks like a, a nice little solid, uh, bar like this break it open like that it's got the caramel that's why you can't have it with his braces oh it looks really good let me give it a try here so chip dip mmm mm -mm -mm. that actually tastes a little bit like a cabaret egg there it is in the middle if you can see that ladies and gentlemen very good, very good milk. This actually did taste like a caramel egg. I really like that one. We'll see if that beats the top three at the end. All right, why don't you pick the next one? I don't want you pick this time. <laughs> all right. Um, you know why he doesn't want to pick any? Because last video was all the things he liked. And now the rest of them are just the ones, the leftovers, I guess. All right. Um... Let's do this one. How about, uh, this one looks a little uh, creamy. This one is fries. Not french fries, but fries, raspberry cream. Raspberry cream. This looks really good. Rich dark chocolate with a smooth fondant center. It's center, I know, but you know Zach and Dad, we have a little fun. So that's why I'm saying centre. What was good is that none of these, uh, none of these things melted in transit. But this one does seem a little melted, but maybe it's just well, the end I picked. All right. Well, I broke it, and you can see there's the uh, there's the uh, raspberry cream center. Wait, before we eat it, look at it. Yeah. You you see how like there's a little liquid. 
Yeah. It's because it's sweating. It is sweating, I know. And it's not and it's not even that hot down here. I don't yeah, know why I it is. I just wanted you to know so then you get less appetized when you eat this. Oh, you think it's less appetizing when it looks no, no, sweaty? No, no, I wanted you to get less appetizing. Oh, no, I'll still eat it. All right, chip oh. it. Sorry. <laughs> ah. I'll still take it. Wait, okay. What is this? Oh, this, don't you listen? No. <laughs> anyway, this is fries, raspberry cream. All right. All right, chip it, dip it. Mmm, refreshing. Almost like a peppermint, kind of almost, almost kind of like a peppermint patty kind of a thing. I think because in the summer, the our basement studio is cool, but it gets humid, so I think that's kind of where our chocolate's starting to sweat. All right. Next part. So pick the next one. Can you? Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Do we want to start going salty or still going sweet? I'm not really sure. Well, let's just keep going sweet. All right. This one is Cadbury, another Cadbury one. This one is Boost. Boost. Um, this one is milk chocolate, caramel, and biscuit energy. Or in the United States, we would call it cookie energy. So, should have a little good combo with it. We'll see. Ooh, looks like a nice little... Actually, looks like uh, we have a candy, uh, kind of a candy thing called um, Swiss Roll-Ups, I think it's called, or Ho-Ho's or something like that. Never heard. Yes, you have. It's that chocolate thing with the cake in the middle. Looks like this. Kind of has a covering like this, a little bigger with kind of cake in the middle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's I cool. just call that some chocolate dessert thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you call it the generic version. All right. So anyway, I'm going to break it. Yeah, this, sorry, you cannot have this. There's a lot of caramel Can in here. Can I have it? Okay. No. Okay. You want to try? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Chip it, though, for me, and I'll dip it. The biscuit center is pretty good in this one. Help us out if you're in the UK. Is caramel a pretty much a staple in a lot of your candy? Like here in the United States, uh, they like to add a lot of peanut butter to the candy bars, where I'm kind of noticing the UK caramel seems to be like a staple in the middle. Tell me if I'm true or if I'm way off base. All right, um, your turn, or should I? Uh... Let's do Walkers. La walkers. Let's do oh, Walkers. Yeah. All right, let's do this one. We have Walkers, which I think is the same as Lay's in the United States. Walkers smoked and bacon. Potato mm -hmm. chips. Mike. Mm -hmm. Ooh, smell that. Smell, it smells like beef jerky. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it smells like, yeah. It smells like good bacon. Boy, it really actually, it really smells like smoke and bacon. Mm -hmm. I love it. Well, we'll see. Chip it, dip it. Oh, mmm. Carrie, really, really good. We need this in the United States, don't you? Yep. Matter of fact, we'll put a card up. We did a whole um, video on different types of bacon flavored products, and this would have been a good addition. Can you taste the bacon? Yeah, I can definitely. Yeah, it's really good. Just like Cholula Sweet Habanero. Mm. Remember when that came out? So you think this tastes just like Cholula's Sweet Habanero? No. <laughs> oh, that's not what you're trying to say. I don't think we have any of our bacon. Oh yeah, um, we tried bacon um, cotton candy. Yeah. Tasted like uh, you want to think you think it's gonna taste sweet and it tastes like meat, meat cotton mm -hmm. candy. All right, you want to pick another one? You can. All right, let's stay with walkers, and let's try this one. A uh, prawn cocktail. Prawn cocktail. And you know what a prawn is, right? No. I think, help me out here, UK, our UK buds and friends. Oh, I think it's, is that shrimp? I think this is supposed to be like a shrimp taste. So really? we'll see. Yeah, I think prawns like shrimp. Oh, I can't have that with my braces. Oh, that's right. You can have shrimp with your yeah, braces. You're right. Yeah, it smells... I can't smell it. Whatever, smell it! Come on! They want you to smell it. it. smells a little fishy. Oh yeah, it does smell a little interesting. I might be totally wrong, but I think prawn is... Uh, but the ingredients here are... Alright, I'm getting a call here, and we'll be right back after these messages. 
Hello? Yes. Yeah, can we, can it wait? We're in the middle of filming a Zach and Dad. Hey guys, my daughter's on, say hi. <laughs> okay, what'd you say now? All right, and we're back. Anyway, that was my daughter, and uh, she wanted to call and uh, wanted to know what exactly we were filming today. Uh, no, joking. Uh, she did have a question, so I need to get that, so thank you. And now Zach is in the other, uh, other side of the basement uh, playing basketball, uh, but he shall join us shortly. Zach, you coming? Yeah, we have a little, like, basketball kind of, uh, a little basketball thing in the other room, and he, and he loves playing that. So every time we take a break, he's usually over there doing some hoops. Uh, he's big into basketball. Hey, if you're a Milwaukee Bucks fan, Milwaukee Bucks are going. Now, wait, I don't know when you're going to see this. They might already be out. But anyway, Milwaukee Bucks, that's our home team, and they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. What's your favorite? What's your favorite basketball team out there, and what's going on? Again, Carrie, we thank you for these. This is awesome. Zach, are you coming? Yeah, just a minute. All right. Great. Well, thanks for, thanks for rejoining us. We really appreciate it. All right. Thanks for being part of the program. All right. Anyway, we were going to finish these uh, prawn cocktail. Again, I think that shrimp. Let us know. Why don't you grab one? You know you can't wait to try. He didn't even grab one. No, I... Where is it? I don't even see it. All right. No, they really want you to try it. Come on. Let's not offend our friends from the UK. They want us to try it. All right? All right. At least you grab one. But be honest, though. That's what they want. Right. At least to try it, but be honest. All right, here we go. These are prawn cocktails from Walker. Chip, Chip it, it, dip it. I will be honest, and why wouldn't I? I love them. I think they're really good. <laughs> I don't know. I tell you the truth, I can't taste shrimp at all. Okay, good. Oh, you wanted to wait until see what I thought? I think it's really good, actually. There's a good flavor. I don't know what flavor that is, but it's a really good flavor. I actually really like these. Or were you? What about you? Good. Yeah. I, were you were, now? Were you surprised of how good it was? Mm, not really. But. Yeah, you were expecting it to taste like shrimp uh, in a chip. All right, so what do you got there? It seems like you're you're getting on a sugar okay, crash. So let's do cheese. All right, all right. What do we got here? This is Walkers again. Walkers, I think, and Lay's are the same. This one is uh, qu what would that? What do you? What would you call that? I don't know. Quavers. I think they're Quavers. Yeah, Quavers uh, chips. They're light, curly potato snacks, so we'll see. No artif oh, no artificial colors. This is all natural. Wow. Wow. All natural. Hey, watch this, watch this. Oh, oh. wow. Every box comes with its free candy. In the UK, that must be happened. They probably get free candy in their boxes. That's great. All right, here we go. Why don't you try a little bit? Yeah, I think you're having too much fun at the free candy in the box. You want to smell it? it smells like a good cheese smell. Mm, yeah, you really smell it. Yeah, this yum. one did not do so well in transit. These are all crushed, but um, you kind of get the hint. Okay, let's do about this. All right, here we go. Chip it, dip it. What's different about these is they are they're more of like a airy. They're a little more airy too. Kind of equivalent to a cheese curl like we have here in the United States. Not quite. Kind of in between. What'd you think? Would you give it a thumbs up? Yeah. I would give up everything. Everything so far has been a thumbs up. I think for you, the only thing that was a thumbs down was the was these. Or did you like... Or no, you... you that's, no, you, you kind of was okay with the prawn one. All right, pick another one. Got four more left. Uh, we'll kind of fly through these. Can do... Lion Choco. Lion Choco? Lion Choco. Oh, yeah, you're right. Choco. Yeah. By Nestle, or is it Nestle? It's not. Is it Nestle? How do you say that? Nestle. 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 All right, some say Nestle. We say Nestle. 
uh, lion choco. Which, cho what do you think choco means? If it was Nestle, it would have a Y at the <laughs> <laughs> Um I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'm assuming it's lion chocolate. I've never had lion chocolate before. Is that supposed to be like alligator chocolate? Uh, no, it's I'm not supposed sure. supposed to be like beaver chocolate. Oh, beaver chocolate. Oh, sorry, I don't think you can have any. There's car caramel in there again. Um, but this one does look like there's caramel with some biscuit layers in the middle. I need Pepsi. Or cookie. Do you what? I need Pepsi. Hey, do, they, do you guys have different flavors of Pepsi over there? Um, one thing I would love to try is if you have different flavors of soda over there, that would be cool to try. Um, we're kind of getting a sugar high here. All right. Um, I guess I'll try this again. Sorry. Hey, do, and don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Carrie. You're probably thinking, oh, man, I wish I didn't get so much caramel if I knew I had braces. Don't worry about it. It just means it's more for me. Which I'm okay with How's that. the caramel? I'm sorry, the what? The caramel. Actually, this is really good. I'm not like a huge fan of a lot of caramel. So this has a good sense of caramel. And then some good wafers in there of chalk, of like biscuits and cookie. Really good. Really good. I like it. Biscuits Thank you. and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. Yeah, it has good. Oh, and the biscuits and gravy in there. Oh, oh, they should make a biscuits and gravy candy bar. That would be great. Oh, yes. All right. We have three more. Um, let me pick the, here, I'll pick it. It's called Flake. Um, it is by Cadbury. There's a lot of stuff by Cadbury. Cadbury is, is, is must be huge in the UK. Anyway, it's the crumbliest. I've never heard of that adjective in a while. The crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate called Flake. What's it called? Called Flake. And oh, dear gosh. It's, what kind of chocolate? Oh, that looks like wood. It does! Yeah, it does really look like wood and flaky. Whoa. And Ooh, really... some bark. And there is some bark. Here you go. It is real. Wow. You cannot... This isn't something you eat in the car. Um, oh, yeah. Speaking about in the car, I'm also a fan of Mr. Bean. I, or anything that character is in. I think he's hilarious. That was random. Uh, um, that was random, but it was another UK thing. All right. In the car? Mr. Bean... Yeah, the reason why I remember Mr. Bean in the car is there was this episode of Mr. Bean... I think he was late for a meeting or late for work, and so ah, I dropped it. The whole I don't know why this scream. The whole <laughs> the ground is lava. Uh, the whole episode of the Mr. Bean thing was him in his little car getting dressed, shaving, brushing his teeth. If you know that episode, give me a thumbs up. All right, here we go. That was funny. Here we go. Chip it, dip it. Not gonna lie, not my favorite. You can, your chocolate's good. I mean, yes, it is chocolate, you're right. But, I mean, compared to a lot of the other things we've tried, not my favorite, but good. I mean, yes, it is chocolate. I'll give it a thumbs up. All right, two more. Uh, Milky Way. Now, we do have Milky Way here in the United States, so I'm not sure if this is different. Um, we'll see. Um, it is different packaging. I think ours is more like a dark dark kind of darkish one so I don't know we'll see if this is any different all right so anyway this is Milky Way uh, it looks a, much smaller than ours would be but maybe it's because it's a two-pack um there you go I don't think there's I don't see a lot of caramel in the middle of this are you on a sugar are you sugar <sighs> crashing come on we'll only cut more here we go chip it wait first off that sort of looks like bread in the middle. hey let us I know it does look like bread in the middle Hey, let us know, are you more of a Milky Way fan or a Snickers bar fan? I'm much more of a Snickers bar fan. Not so much a Milky Way, but I love my Snickers. I like... Chip it. What do you like? Butterfinger and uh, Twix. But yeah, Snickers is good. Um, I are you forgot what I was going to say. I don't know, why don't you just eat? You're kind of out of it. <laughs> it doesn't take you... Well, it's literally, for Zach, it doesn't take a lot of chocolate for him to go zone and out. You know what? I don't know if this tastes like Milky Way or not, because to tell you the truth, I rarely ever eat Milky Way. It's mostly Snickers. So, I'm not sure if this is like the United States one, but this is really good. I like it. I think it is a little, the texture is By a little way, different. If you're wondering why I'm like down here, it's because I'm on a booster seat. Yeah, he really is a very short guy. And even on the boot, usually he's on two or three booster seats. 
but he's very, he might be 15 years old, but he's very, he's <laughs> very, very short. Um, all right. Are you going to be okay? Mm -hmm. Are you going to get down ever, even more? Can you get down even more? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. This one is this called Nick Nacks. Very tight. Knick knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came, well, something like that. Anyway, this is called Knick knacks, um, rib, rib and saucy. So at Knick knack, uh, oh, Knick knack, knobbly, wacky sticks of corn. Intensely tasty, unusually knobbly. Hmm, very interesting the way that uh, they uh, describe this. Anyway, it's rib and saucy. So ribs that are with probably like kind of some kind of a barbecue sauce. Oh, actually that, that actually did taste like, that does taste, smell like ribs. Hey, get off the booster seat and smell this. Mm. <laughs> it looks like cheese curls, but it really actually does smell like ribs. That is really interesting. We have a restaurant uh, here in the United States called uh, Famous Dave's. And this actually smells like Famous Dave's ribs. Why don't you grab a couple of them? Eight there. Yes, you have. At Famous Dave's? I haven't. Yes, you have. One. Uh, no, it's in Appleton. All right. Chip it. Dip it. Again, it looks like corn curls. All right. It doesn't taste like it smells. It really actually did smell like ribs. That's actually even the wrong bag. I really can't really have a... I, what do you taste? Nothing really. I know, I'm really not tasting much. It's nothing. Actually, it's pretty good. But if I was closing my eyes and someone said, guess the flavor, I would have never guessed the ribs. I would say nothing. You would say nothing? Yeah. But if someone said, just smell the bag. If someone would come up to me with an... M with a, well, that'd be weird anyway. But if someone came to you and said, sniff this. You know, I'm sure that's happened to you. Like, sniff this. I would say it sniffs like ribs. All right, get out of your sugar coma right now. Oh. Gary, we love you, thank you so much, we appreciate it. Pick your top three. Top three. Top three. Um, probably the orange chocolate thing. Orange chocolate. Then the chocolate thing that looks like wood. Flakes, or the flake, okay. Okay, oh, and man. then I... I made a mess. I take a... Or how about this one? Uh, the fries, raspberry too cream. Sweaty. Okay. Uh, I'd probably. T <laughs> uh, too sweaty. That is, I love that as we as we describe candy. That's a sweaty this. candy. I don't know what it is. What was it? it? Was good. Oh, um, that one was called. Oh, that one was the twirl. I think that was the twirl. Yeah. All right, my top three. Of course, if you know me, I love my orange and chocolate. Number one. Definitely, by far, would be Galaxy Smooth Orange. That will not be lasting long. Um, I'm much more savory than I am sweet, but those but those prawn cocktail chips really, really tasted good. That was great. But I also was a big fan of the raspberry cream, the fries raspberry cream. I thought it was very good. And then I think... Uh, you know what? I will go. My third one will be a savory, and I am going to go prawn cocktail. That really was good. That was great. So, thanks. Let's thanks. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah. All right. We have This was our second one. We have another one coming up probably next week, so we can't wait to get into that. So, we probably have some people from all over the world, and definitely from the UK, that are like, I love what I see here. How can I be part of the Zach and Dad family? Like, and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you guys get notified. Excellent. And what we've always said, too, is if wherever you are in the world or if you're in a different state here in the United Whether States. Whether it's the U.S., uh, Wyoming, California, New York. They're all, that's all part of the United Wisconsin, States. Wisconsin or North America or just America or the U.S. or the United States. Either here, there, or anywhere, if you have snacks that you'd like us to try, contact us on YouTube or on the Facebooks, and we'll let you know our P.O. Box. So, thank you guys very much for being a part of us. We thank you so much. We love all of you guys. Again, thank you, Carrie. We really appreciate it. We know there's a thousand other uh, international and national food review channels just like us that you probably yeah. love and you love to watch. But thank you for spending a little bit of your time with the father and son that loves to try creations from all over the world without leaving our studio. So we love you guys. 
Peace out. Yeah. Take care. And as we always end, we'll see you on the flip flop. All right. Take yeah. care. God bless you guys.